Smith is going to play it over to the left-hand side here. Again, plenty of space here. A cross being played in back post. That was a really good ball played over to the back post. Is that Greg? Yeah, that's his first goal of the season. Uh, to recap that, actually, let me go back. It was a throw in here. And George Marsh tried to get his foot on it. And um, number nine, Grig, actually was at the top of the 18 to lay it off to Smith. Smith played over to the left-hand side. Way too much space being given uh, to either Lindsley or Rathbone on that left-hand side. Cross was delivered back post. Osu wasn't able to get to the back post in time. Yeah, it was just a really good cross to the back post there. Um, Paul Osu wasn't able to get there in time. Just over the head of Daniel Chuka. And uh, Grig gets his first goal of the season. Damn, man. Ooh. Ferguson played a really nice ball, but Chalka just barely getting his head on that and just kind of flicked over him. And that was, if he didn't get that, that head on it, um, number 20, the center back, Ihike, I'm uh, sorry, Ihiekwe would have found himself with like a, uh, maybe a slide tackle. He was trying to slide tackle and get in it, so probably would have had a, uh, a shot towards frame there. Uh, but Daniel Chalka, I feel like he's been kind of one of our are shining lights in this game, winning plenty of headers. This time the header won by Smith, near post. I was afraid of that. This time it was, um, you know, it was Smith starting off in the back post, sprinting towards that near post, and Daniel Chaka a little bit late to react, but to be fair, you know, you sometimes don't know what your mark's going to do, and Smith was able to get away from Chaka near post, able to nod it through. And it's going to be 2-0 Rotherham. I was afraid of that. I kind of figured that Rotherham would score at least one headed goal today. And there it is. 2-0. The pass from Barlacer was a poor one to Smith. And now AFC Wimbledon can break here with uh, Presley on the hold up. Presley, why are you turning back? And he easily gets... Yeah, Presley took 1-2-3 touch as he tried to turn back and find somebody. But his pa pocket got picked. I think maybe try to play on the overlap. McCormick was trying to... Trying to play an overlapping run there. Just playing first time. Himself in good areas to lay someone off. Oh, Chaka gets beat. That is one of the most rudimentary, simple, and shitty goals to give up. It was a uh, free kick from about 40 yards out by number 8, Ben Wiles. AFC Wimbledon have their back line. Firmly held about 24 yards out to play, you know, play the offside trap. But Daniel Chalka was very slow to react. He waited until about a half second until the ball was played off of Wiles' feet before he ran back. And and Smith just easily took a touch, far post, easy. Good night, Wimbledon. Exactly. I don't think there's a better way to phrase that. Daniel Chalka very late. On the reaction, and I hate I hate to criticize Daniel Chaka because he he has been a very good player for our side today, but that one was that was not it, Chief Daniel Chaka a bit late to react, and uh, far post finish, just all around, all around poor. Jack Rodoni tries to take it back to his left foot. Rodoni, my man, take it forward, take a heavy touch down the wing, be dangerous, man. Come on. He tried to take a touch back down to the center, and it was sly. It was a sly tackle there by one of the Rotherham players. I mean, that's that's something that I feel like they've lacked is the ability to be dangerous. And um, you know, there have been too many times when Wimbledon are on the right side, they they're just gonna you know take it back to the center, take a touch back to their left foot, which is fine at times. But Wimbledon have done that 90% of the time. We need someone like Depo Mebude to try to use his pace or anybody to use pace to beat their defender out on the wing and then get a cross off or maybe take another heavy touch. I haven't seen a single chance this game. Not a single chance. Not a single moment where AFC Wimbledon took a heavy touch down the goal line and tried to be dangerous. That being said, Chaka plays... that Playing the ball down to the outside mid has been fine. Chaka tried to find uh, McCormick on the wing. But every single time we take a touch back to the, back to the center and play it back to the center mid, back to the center back, or maybe take a play a square ball down down the 18, which that alone is dangerous, but we've been doing that too much. It's too predictable. Jack Rodoni is going to be taking uh, taking it back to the center with his left foot, tries to play it again, 
taking his back over to his left foot, not tr not trusting his one v one ability there. I think Jack Rodoni is one of the players that I really think has the potential to take someone on one v one. He has that in his arsenal, and he hasn't he hasn't you know taken that in stride. Anyway, AFC Wimbledon give it away here with Woodyard. Just not on the same page. Not on the same page with Tapa Mabude. Mabude thought he was going to... Mabude tried to make a, a run down the center. And Woodyard played him square. And the ball just went behind him. They showed plenty of chemistry in the beginning of the season. But now the chemistry is just, just off. And, um, you know, they've been stringing together passes very well in, the, in when they were down nil-nil. But lately, when they have conceded the goal first... That's when they lacked the character. They showed great character when they were down against Bolton, when they were down against Ipswich. But now I see I see their heads drop, and you know I see them not stringing passes together very well. Hardigan back over, Mabude top of the box. Maybe he could play it over to Rodoni on the outside instead. Place plays uh, Presley. Presley is too. Uh, Presley's football is too negative. He receives the overlap. He takes a couple, one or two touches back to, uh, away from goal. It's good to play the overlap, but maybe play a backwards pass over to Hardigan. Hardigan's going to have that vision. Hardigan is going to have the vision. He's going to look over to his left, to his right, see who he, he can play before he even receives that pass from the likes of Presley or Mabude, whoever's holding the ball up. If you're going to hold the ball up for two, three, four seconds, try to play a square ball or try to look over your shoulder and play an incisive ball over to someone who's making the run. If you're going to play it, if you're going to play it back in the direction of our goal, at least play it to someone who has the vision that can see someone on the outside.